Welcome to Customizing BricsCAD. My name is Ralph Grabowski, and it's my pleasure to show you how to make BricsCAD work the way you work. Even though BricsCAD has commands for creating and running scripts, it has no command for editing them. And uh, the way to do that is to get right into the script file itself using a text editor like Notepad and then making the changes and that's what we're going to see in this video. To edit a script file you have to open it in a text editor, not a word processor. Word processors put in all sorts of formatting codes which will just confuse BricsCAD. So it has to be a text editor like Notepad or uh, something like a text edit that you'll find in Linux and Macintosh. Script files are stored in the My Drawings folder uh, which is fine under my documents in uh, Windows, similarly in the other two operating systems. Now if I were to double click this right now in order to open it, what'll happen is it'll actually fire up BricsCAD and run the script. So the solution is to drag it into the text editor. I'm gonna start up the text editor. There it is there, Notepad. And I'll drag the file from the ma file manager into Notepad. And there's our script. Now a little bit of editing we'll do in this tutorial is to change the size of the border to 18 by 24. So I'm just going to come in here and type in 18 comma 24 and uh, that's the end of it. So I'll go then to file, save and then test it in BricsCAD. Let me bring up BricsCAD here and we're going to tools, run script, there it is there, open, and you can see now that the uh, rectangle drawn is a lot smaller. Let's see what else is possible with editing a script file. You can see I've highlighted a, something I've added in there. It's delay 1500, and what that is, it'll uh, pause the script for a total of 1500 milliseconds. Translated into English, that's 1.5 seconds. And you can have a pause anywhere from one millisecond up to 32,767, which is roughly 32 seconds. I've put in a delay here, and a delay here, and a delay here. Essentially after each of the commands. Because scripts run so fast, this gives you a chance to see what's happening. I've also added in a few more uh, commands. There's circle, drawing a circle, center 22, radius 20. Uh, notice that the uh, spaces act like pressing the space bar or enter key on the keyboard. Similarly down here I have a blank line and that's like pressing enter on the keyboard. In this case it's to end the line command. To tell the line command you're no longer entering coordinates. Okay, so I'm going to save this and let's see how it runs. Tools, run script, and here we go. Okay, so there's the rectangle and it's pausing. There's the circle and it's pausing. There's the line and it's pausing. And there's the zoom extents and it's done. Commands entered through scripts are just like any other command. So uh, I can press uh, Control Z to undo these actions or click the undo button on the toolbar. In my first tutorial on scripts, I noted that scripts don't work with dialog boxes or anything that involves a mouse. So how do you handle layers? Well, the way to get around commands that employ dialog boxes is to put a little dash in front of the name. And what that does, it forces BricsCAD to use the command line version of, uh, of that command. So here I've done that to the layer command. And you can see what I've done here is I've uh, made a new layer, naming it red, then changing its color to red. And then finally there's two blank lines because that's how many enters you need to exit the layer command. And then over here on this side you can see I've run the script. The name is red, the color is red, and the line was drawn in red. The other special character here is an underscore and all that does is internationalize the command. This means that this script will work in the German version of BricsCAD or the French version. The underscore tells BricsCAD to internationalize the command name. I want to end off this tutorial by showing you different ways of 
starting script files. One way is to double click it in File Manager. And there's BrickSCAD and it runs immediately. You start another drawing. Another way to do it is to drag the script file into BrickSCAD and then it'll run. I trust you enjoyed learning how to make BrickSCAD work the way you work. For more on customizing BrickSCAD, check out the ebook. Download the free trial version of BrickSCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself.